Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at 5 scary videos that will freak you out. Today's video is sponsored by The Rage Wallet. The Rage has sponsored me in previous videos and I still use their wallet to this day. I love the minimal design and the way it fits in my pocket. I used to carry a bulky leather wallet before, and it was a pain not being able to walk properly. Now I'm able to walk in the streets without worrying about numbness in my leg. I almost don't notice I'm carrying my wallet. Father's Day is coming up and the rich makes a great gift. You can shop the Father's Day guide on the site and find the best gear for your dad. Help your dad ditch the bulky wallet for Father's Day, help him get a wallet fit for the 21st century. There's over 30 colors and styles including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. The rich team is so confident that you'll like it that they will let you test drive it for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. So head on over to rich.com slash sirspooks or use sirspooks on checkout to save 10% off your purchase. Your dad will be forever grateful. Now back to the video. In this video posted to Reddit by the user Shaolin Popeye, we watch three guys in what seems to be either a Zoom call, podcast or live stream, as they can be seen smiling and talking with one another at the beginning of the clip. But in just a matter of seconds, these smiles quickly turn into unease. Let's have a look together and find out why. Mate, the oh, cool. first two films are amazing. So there we go. That is end of round number three. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you guys just see that and hear that? <laughs> I heard like a bonk. What? Did you not hear that noise? I heard a bonk, oh, no. yeah. My suitcase just moved across the room by itself. <laughs> right there. That was not there a second ago. Yeah. Know. If you listen very closely, you can hear a single banging noise that is seemingly coming from the one man's bedroom, as well as an object moving into view. But when he looks around the room to do a quick investigation, he doesn't see how it could have possibly happened. Mate, the cool. first two films are amazing. So, there we go. That is end of round number three. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you guys just see that and hear that? <laughs> I heard like a bonk. He proceeds to ask his two other friends if they heard the noise as well, and they both confirm that they did. Sadly, even though this video is over two months old, there doesn't seem to be any updates regarding this particular situation, but let's cross our fingers that we get more to this story someday soon. YouTuber Bushmaster076 says that at 2.43pm on February 9th, 2020, he was inside of his house in Fairfield, Ohio, relaxing and was feeding his dog, when the two of them suddenly started to hear some strange noises coming from somewhere close by outside. The noise must have been really loud in the home because Bushmaster says that he quickly ran outside to try to investigate the source. The uploader proceeds to head outside and start filming and what he ends up capturing is definitely nothing short of eerie. Take a look and have a listen. This kind of growling noise doesn't necessarily sound like it could have been coming from any ordinary animal, like a dog or a bear or something. In fact, Bushmaster has a theory that he may have captured audio evidence of Bigfoot in the Fairfield area, and judging by these creepy sounds, 
it doesn't seem like too far-fetched of a theory, but this could of course just have been a normal animal. As a society, we all like to collectively believe that the majority of people populating the planet are good-natured people that have our best interests at heart. We don't like to believe that others around us would be creepy or have sinister intentions. Sadly, as we all know, however, this is not always the case. While there are a lot of good-natured people out there, there are also a lot of creepy people in the world and one of the most unsettling types of these people are stalkers. People who will literally follow you home and watch your every move when you least expect it. In this video uploaded by TikTok user Carolina Judah, we see her heading home alone late at night after spending time at a boyfriend's house. But unfortunately for Carolina, this trip back home was not at all comfortable. Take a look. The worst situation in my life when I came home at night. I was coming home from my boyfriend on the last bus. I saw a strange man standing behind the bus stop, but I ignored him. Moments later, he started following me. I wanted to run, but I was afraid that he would run after me. He started to walk faster and faster. At some point, he started shouting something, so I thought he was just drunk, but he still followed me home. Around the bend, I started to run all the way to the house. When I was entering the house, I couldn't see him anywhere. But 20 minutes later, I heard the bell. We have it by the gate. I called my mom, very fast, because this man was standing right in front of my house, staring at the windows, and began to move closer. At this point, I had a panic attack. And the worst part of it all, he walked across the garden to the door and began to yank the handle. I locked myself in the bathroom and waited for my mom and dad because no one was home. After 15 minutes, he stopped, but I was there for another hour until my parents returned from work. Gratefully, the stalker eventually went away, but it does not make the situation Carolina was in any less terrifying. This event documented by Caroline just goes to show that anything is possible in this world, and danger can literally be lurking around any corner. Maunus Masson on TikTok has had an inkling for a while now that the house he lives in is haunted. Although he doesn't give a backstory on what made him think his house is haunted, he insists that it is, and says that nobody he knows believes him when he says his home is haunted. So he decided to record himself sleeping to prove something to his viewers. What he captured was indeed creepy. The object near his bedroom door moving slowly into view and collapsing onto the floor certainly is quite creepy. It also helps that Maunus provided a real-world clock that shows the passing of time and confirms that none of this has been edited, further proving the authenticity of the clip. Maunus says that he might make follow-up videos to this one in the future, so let's hope that he does. Or better yet, hopefully he moves into a house that's not haunted before it's too late. Paranormies may be a medium-sized YouTube channel right now, but they create some of the most interesting and creepy abandoned building exploration style videos on the platform. Each video is quite lengthy, which gives the viewer a good look at the inside of the place they're investigating. 
in this video published to their channel in May of 2021. The group head out to the Union Point Church to do some exploring, and the many results are shocking to say the least. Close to the 10 minute mark in the video, two unsettling things happen that are sure to make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Watch this. When things like that you see it is kind of freaky. Whoa. 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 Oh. This is a very old building too. Like Peter, is that your Peter. name? Peter. If you listen carefully, you can hear a strange voice quickly say the name Peter. One week after this video was uploaded, the paranormi say that they found out that a man died there years ago, and scarily enough, his name was Peter. A couple of minutes later, during the investigation, something else creepy happens with the doorknob. Sleeping. Where's my stomach? It's... What was that? What the hell was that? It sounded like a squeak of a door hinge or something like that. That sounded like a door hinge. A bit later on, the group attempts to use the Ovulus device one more time and listen to the two chilling words it says. Instead of saying Peter this time around, the Ovulus says the name Jackson. Like, oh man, it's just freaky. It's like, cause there's like something like, oh, graveyards, man. <laughs> Jackson. The paranormies clarify that where they are investigating, the name is extremely uncommon to the point where it's essentially a rarity to find someone with that name. In addition, they say there was an entire family with the last name Jackson that were buried outside the church in the cemetery. Just three minutes later into that night, they notice something odd going on with the stained glass windows as well as another voice coming from the ovulus. Watch this. Shining it to this window and the other window. It won't do it on that window, only this one. L look. Why would that be? If I shine it to that window, the light on that window, it won't pick it up. The light's shining on that window. It's not even shining on the window that's over there. Because I'm trying to debunk it here. Go to that window. It should go to that window. What's it keep reaching for on the ceiling? That's arms, legs, that's everything. It's gotta be the window though, somehow. Peter, they say Peter again? At the end of the first part of the investigation, the paranormies find a wide array of headstones adorning the grass, and you'll never believe what the names are. Jackson. Jackson? The last name Jackson. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. Are you kidding me? Dude, really? Look at the tops. Look at the top of that. Jackson. Jackson. Jackson down there. B bottom. Jackson. Oh, on the bottom. And Jackson. Did it say Jackson three times? It said Jackson once. To kick things off in part two, the group is exploring throughout the church's interior when they suddenly hear something that catches them completely off guard. A what was that? What? I swear, like I heard something over here. Like, almost like something sliding. Really? Yeah. Peter? Did you hear that? I was three, three knocks. Then about five minutes later, when one of the guys approaches one of the windows of the church, this camera manages to pick up something terrifying, and then two minutes later, another completely unexplainable event happens. Oh my god, there it is. He's there. He's right in there between. He is. Peter, if that's you, can you make a no noise from that door? That's where the knocking was coming from. Yeah. And I'm gone. Right after that, you feel the building move too. That's when it was. Did you hear that? What was that? Was that just? That, was that I don't know. Weird? That could. Have been... No, there, there it was. What is that? What is? No, no, no. It sounds like something sliding on the floor. 
Sounds like something like like a shoe on like a yeah. basketball court. At this point, the Paranormies are surely getting quite freaked out. But against all odds, they manage to put on their brave faces and press on with the investigation. While sitting on one of the church benches, they witness some seriously strange activity that seems to last for a good few minutes. Take a look at this creepy stretch of footage. Oh, that's the door. Oh my god. Is that Jack? Who is that? Oh my god. Holy oh shit. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Joy! Oh my god. He's f***ing in. Open it. Dude, the f***ing the tripod just came flying at me. It was locked. Why were you locked in? Thought I heard something. As the investigation reaches its end, the group is nearly ready to call it a day and pack their things. But before they start heading home, they are in for one last unsettling encounter. Upstairs. Victoria? Oh my god. What the f is going on? Holy shit. Grab that light. Oh my god. Okay, if that's you, stop for a little bit. Holy shit. As you can probably see, the Paranormies two-part video on the Union Point Church is fascinating and just goes to show how disturbing the church's past really is. We all like to think of churches as safe places to go to, but one thing is for sure, the Union Point Church is the exact opposite of safe. And that was 5 scary videos that will freak you out. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks and I'll see you all in the next video.